Da, 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 da. What's a good word, guys? Matt McCoy, country song teacher. Welcome for coordination. If you're not, not familiar with that, if you follow my channels, you're probably in four coordination. If you're a guitarist like me, where you barely know over four chords, G, C, E minor, and D, you're part of four coordination. So if you're if you're above us, then be patient with us, four coordination folks. I'm gonna talk about how a beginner can get good on guitar just using four chords. I get so many comments and emails that says, Matt, I never thought I could learn, or I took lessons and I couldn't get it. I gave up for years. That was me. I quit playing. I, I thought I could never learn, whatever. Then I saw your videos. And by mastering and learning those four chords, it gave me confidence to hear a song, to be able to play it, to hear a sound I like, and take that and build on it. And I'm like, that is exactly what I'm trying to do. So if you want to know what's your... What's your motives? What, you, what are you trying to accomplish? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get you to hear a sound that you know, get you a familiar sound that gives you the confidence to take off and play greater things. So I would tell someone, first work on this song. By the way, all these are from my Four Chord Songbook Volume 1. I'm running a special right now. Even you can get the bundle, both of them, for 20 bucks. So go to countrysongteacher.com and get that. But what, what you're going to do, so Song 1, for example, is Brand New Man, and you would do this. So it's going to be three chords, C, D, and G. You're going to put the pinky finger on the bottom string, third fret, ring finger on the second string, and go fourth and fifth. Fourth and fifth. And turn the bottom five. I saw the light I've been. Then you go to the third string for a D chord, turn the bottom four. Baptized by the. And your final chord's a G chord, fifth and sixth. Firing your touch in the. Remember, slide down for the sea. Flame in your eyes. I'm born to love again. I'm a brand new man. So why, the reason I say that's a good song, it's a song everybody loves. It's a crowd favorite. It's going to use three chords. So out of the four chords, G, C, E minor, D, the toughest one's going to be E minor. It, you'll get that too, but I'm saying that'll be your toughest. But as long as you can lock in the two bottom strings, again, when I say a C, it's a C at nine. So fourth and fifth, you want to work on getting that, that chord as clear as possible. I saw the light I've been. Then again, take your first finger to the third string. Baptized by the. Then go up your G and C chord. You can see it's the exact same. It's fourth and fifth, fifth and sixth, right there. I'm in your touch in the. See flame in your eyes. I'm born to love again. I'm a brand new man. So that's a great song. I think it's song number four or five in it, like I said, in, in this first song book. So once you get that down, you're gonna to go to Keith Whitley. This is one of the last songs. When you say nothing at all. What I love about this song, it's still using the three chords, but you're going back and forth. Smile on your face. Let's me know that you need me. You're doing a two count, and again, just make sure you're doing just down strums. We're working on chord clarity, getting the chord sounding clear. Just down strums for a G. Go to the third string, bottom four. Then go to the C, bottom five, for two, then back to D. In my beginner guitar course, this is what I'm going over. I make sure you're good at this song. The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. The touch of your hand says you'll catch me. If it, see how you stay out of that four count? Never I default. What I would invite you to do in this song, it's a great little training exercise, is if you have your songbook there in front of you, you can learn it, learn it, learn it, but slow train your ear to listen for that chord change. Smile on your face, lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes, saying you'll never leave me. The touch of your hand says you'll... Notice how easy, too, those chord changes are. That's why I love teaching these chords for beginners this way. You're just going there. You're stabilizing that guitar by going, you could just, just move your first and second finger. So a lot of times people think, 
I always say that the C chord made me quit guitar because going from that, taking all my fingers off, and going like that, then that, and that, and then this, then that, it just threw me all off. So keeping that, just, you're just going up and down that ladder. So once you get that song down, you got brand new man, you got when you say nothing at all. The next one, you're gonna add that E minor in. Let's do a little Morgan Wallen chasing you. So the way you play the E minor is two ways you can play it. If you have smaller fingers, you want to take your first finger on that fifth string, second fret, and your middle finger on the fourth string. So right there. I think even Luke Combs does it this way. Show all six. I have bigger hands, and I just got used to doing this way. I take one finger and press right between the two. Chasing you like a shot of whiskey burning, going down, burning, going down. Notice how I'm going... E minor, then go down to a D, then go up that ladder. C, G, then start back over. You're just doing a big circle. So, so again, it's E minor for two, D for two, C for two, G for two. Remember, E minor and G, you're showing all six. C, the bottom five, D, bottom four. So that whole song, like I said, this is song number like eight, I think, of the book. Chasing you. Like a shot of whiskey Burning, going down Burning, going down Chasing you Like those goodbye taillights Headed west and anywhere In this nowhere town Chasing that freedom Chasing that feeling I got gone too soon Chasing that you and I'm laying here tonight Holding someone new Still chasing you Still chasing you So see there, you let that song, songs like that can look advanced. But when you break it down, you know, I talked about this the other day, how to learn new songs. What are the chord order? What's the timing of each chord? And slowly get it down. After you get better, you're going to... Palm mutes and little, that kind of little intros and stuff like that. But but you want to walk, obviously crawl before you walk. Start with just a down strum and build up that chord base. So guys, I'm telling you, if you can get master those four chords, you can just slowly advance your playing over and over, and get where you can play all kinds of fancy stuff. You could add in little hammer arms. <laughs> Master those four chords, you can play thousands of songs, impress your friends, and be part of four. I'm getting shirts made, by the way, called Four Chord Nation. So y'all can be ready for that. I've got to, right? We got to take pride in being part of the Four Chord Nation. Please, by, guys, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. Always hit the like button. That helps the YouTube algorithm. It, 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 it's, it's weird. Like, if you don't have enough likes, they quit promoting your stuff, that kind of thing. So please, if you want to support the channel, I do that. Also, like I said, my store is called CountrySongTeacher.com. Y'all been such a blessing to me. I've got four chord song books. Um, I've got artists like Luke Combs, George Strait, Morgan Wallen, Kenny Chesney. Um, who's the other one? Uh, Jason Aldean. Um, Sandbar Country, karaoke books, all kinds of stuff. So go check out the website. See if there's something you want like there if you want to support the channel that way at countrysongteacher.com. And please share the videos on your social media. That mean the world to me, and I will dance at your next wedding. All right, guys. Enjoy those four chords. Keep jamming them and see what ways you can fancy them up. Then start adding that up strum and some string stops and palm mutes. You'll be jamming before you know it. You have a YouTube channel yourself. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Let's go. God bless you.